is The Chris Abraham Show. Welcome to Season 4, Episode 23 of The Chris Abraham Show. My name is Chris Abraham, and I'm currently sitting in Penrose Square Park, and it's extremely windy, so I have my uh, voice recorder, my Olympus Pearl Quarter voice recorder, in my pink bucket, new hat and bucket hat, and I have a dead cat on the microphone. So we'll see how it turns out. Today is a lazy pod. Today is basically an extension of yesterday, and because I'm pretty sure it's going to be windy and terrible and the recording's going to suck, I'm going to just uh, remind people that if you adopt... Anyway, I'll tell you after the break. Welcome back. This is Chris Abraham, Season 4, Episode 23. 23 is my second favorite number. It's a prime number. It's a magical number. And my first favorite number, do you know what it is? Anyway, today is about salt and salting. And it's about spice and spicing. Now, I am terrible at this because I haven't... I need to get a big thing of cumin and other types of healing anti-inflammatory spices but my cardiologist Dr. Lux uh, tells me that when you have when you eat clean and you don't have processed food in your diet and you do not eat things like you know restaurant food then you need to be responsible for your own salting and your own micronutrients, right? So yesterday I spoke about the fact that I needed to add um, salt and uh, potassium and magnesium into my uh, hydration strategy because that is something that when you are a carnivore on the carnivore diet or even on a keto diet or on a no carb diet or zero carb diet, you are going to lack uh, a lot of the uh, a lot of the things that you naturally get get in an omnivore's diet, and the reason why uh, the government lied to you about a low sodium diet is because they were lying to you by not lying to you. They were they they didn't say uh, all the food that you eat is so high in sodium you shouldn't add any more sodium into your diet right? That advice wasn't for people who ate cleanly or who eat cleanly. That advice is only for people who eat um, a processed American diet and go out to restaurants where uh, the food is liberally uh, spiced, liberally salted, whether it's in a restaurant or whether it's in prepackaged food or whether it's, you know, McDonald's uh, french fries. Now, This is where we're going to see whether or not the dead cat in the hat is going to stop some of this awful, um, awful wind noise. We don't know. I don't know. I might need to go into uh, Audacity and uh, fix it because there are loud women uh, in the table next to me. Well, well, loud people. There's no... uh, Women is just a descriptive. I I meant nothing by that. I just meant to... um, loud people enjoying their day. It's a Saturday. It's a beautiful day. We're in a park and they have every reason to uh, speak loudly and be happy as as anybody does. And I'm talking into a pink bucket hat, talking about salting. So it's essential that you, let's say you're a carnivore and you make steaks and burgers and you have uh, pork steaks and chicken and so forth right the thing that the french always do no matter what and the the thing that most steakhouses do no matter what is at the very least add 
uh, either kosher or sea salt, uh, and a liberal grinding of pepper. Right, that's the very baseline for uh, seasoning. Now, in a world like when I got out of the hospital, they told me not to eat any salt or anything at all, and they even people were buying me all these um, shakers of uh, of spices that didn't have any salt in them. But it doesn't work depending on what kind of diet you're on. Um, let's say I was on a vegan diet and I didn't salt my water, didn't salt my lentils, didn't salt my pasta, like I, w I avoided salt at all cost and I avoided butter at all cost. That would be as, that would be bad as well, right? There's no innate salts in, in even the yummiest pasta or the yummiest lentils or the yummiest this or yummiest that, right? Um, if you live and cook your own food and live a clean diet, you need to liberally salt your food to taste, right? Here's another secret that nobody ever tells you, my parents didn't even tell me, is that in Italy, when people make pasta in pasta water, that pasta water is supposed to be as salted, as saline, as the ocean. It's not supposed to have a pinch of salt in the water. It's supposed to have a handful of salt in the water. Um, which is why um, pasta water is such an important ingredient for other things because it's got uh, the it's got the um, uh, the various and sundry starch from the pasta, but it's also got the um, uh, the salting from the, the brine. In, in other words, you're supposed to cook water in brine. I mean, sorry, cook pasta in brine. So I really think it's, while well, you should talk to your doctor, I think you should do the research and decide whether or not you need to, um, if you are eating food that doesn't come with its own spicing, you know, I would say that probably things like, uh, I don't know, tasty bite Indian food or other types of prepackaged food and so forth. I would say that those probably already have plenty of salt in them. Um, what's important uh, to do is to make sure that uh, if you eat clean, if everything you have is from um, not packaging but from from raw, you know, you have a bag of uh, a bag of flour, a bag of whatever, a, a cut of beef, etc. You need to, you need to, to, to add to that. You need to liberally salt that in order to get the kind of um, electrolytes that you need to be able to survive healthily things like extremely low carb or no carb or keto or carnivore diets. That's it. Hopefully you can hear me over the crazy wind. It's such a beautiful day. I didn't want to do it indoors. I didn't want to find another place. I want to see if I can use a bucket hat inverted and a uh, 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 a dead cat or what they call a sound muff to make this a viable episode. And if it's not, then it's a, it's a junk, lazy episode anyway. I love you guys. I'll be right back. Welcome back to Lucky 23, Lucky 23, Season 4, Episode 23. My name is Chris Abraham. This is the Chris Abraham Show. I'm just talking about salt. Just talking about salt. Maybe tonight during my rowing, I will watch Idiocracy. Although I told my buddy in Poland, I told him that I was going to watch The Fog of War. Uh, which is, you know, one of my favorite movies of all time. And since I just watched Wag the Dog, I think it's time to watch uh, The Fog of War. Anyway, this is the Contact Me segment. You can contact me at chris at abraham.su. You can contact me at plus one two zero two three five two five zero five one. You can reach me text via phone call if you're if you're uh, 
uh, Gen X or or uh, or, or Gomer or uh, Boomer, you can text me or call me, but I probably won't respond because. Uh, and if you do that, don't say something like "Hey," like say, "This is Chris Abraham. I like your podcast." Um, you can use Signal or WhatsApp or Telegram to contact me, I think. I really should check about uh, whether or not people are blocked and uh, whether I need to go in and look at people who are trying to contact me and if uh, it might be you. Um, I'm uh, youtube.com slash chrisabraham. I'm facebook.com slash chrisabraham. I'm twitter.com slash chrisabraham. I'm uh, instagram.com slash chrisabraham. I am, what else, chris-abraham.com is my Tumblr. Nobody uses that anymore. Um, oh, linkedin.com slash in slash chrisabraham. And I think that's it. I am uh, noagendasocial.com slash at sign chris. I am giravik.su slash at sign chris. And uh, I think that might be it. Anyway. Love you guys. I think it's 23. 23. 23. 23. Oui. Uh, je je t'adore. Uh, ciao. Thank you for listening to The Chris Abraham Show. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes. Until next time.